This is a carpet and hard floor cleaning performance review of the Roborock Saros 10R. The Saros 10R comes with a divided dual brush design that we have already seen with the Cravo Curve. To test carpet cleaning under real life conditions and over the long term, I use certified test dust. This is also used by testing institutes and simulates household dust. For my standardized test, I use three different types of carpet. First, a red carpet with a very dense two centimeter long pile onto which 10 grams of test dust are applied and then embedded as shown. Then a carpet with a very soft two centimeter long pile, which was also soiled with 10 grams of test dust as described above. Finally, I test a dirt mat, which is soiled with only five grams of the test dust, but is also tested with a spot on soiling of 10 grams of bird sand. The test was done with the maximum suction level selectable. Also, carpet boost is enabled if available since some models can boost even higher as the maximum selectable suction. With the exception of the red carpet, all carpets were cleaned in a checkerboard pattern, that is, with horizontal and vertical lines. The red carpet was only cleaned in horizontal lines because the pile is oriented, and cleaning with vertical lines negatively impacts cleaning performance with this type of dirt. It was weighed after 7 and 14 cleaning strokes. The dirt mat test ended after 7 cleaning strokes, as I believe this type of carpet is manually cleaned more often. All tests were performed three times. The middle result is shown. However, due to the test design, all three runs usually show the same result. Let's take a look at how the Saros 10R compares to its in-house competitors from Roborock. When cleaning the dirt mat, the robot lags behind a Crevo curve in dust removal with 56% versus 52%, but it's ahead in sand pickup with 87% versus 79%. However, the cleaning results achieved here are generally not particularly good, as we'll see later. Unfortunately, I haven't tested the Roborock S7 in this way yet, but judging from the upcoming results, I think the S7 performs better. When cleaning the soft blue carpet, the Saros 10R achieved exactly the same level as a Roborock S7, with 57 and 62% dust pickup after 7 and 14 cleaning passes, respectively. The Crevo curve lags significantly behind, with 49 and 51%, respectively. But even these achieved values are not absolute top scores. The cleaning results on the red carpet demonstrate how much better the Roborock S7's cleaning head is designed. With a combined result of 38%, it clearly beats a Saros 10R and a Cravo Curve. A Saros 10R with 22% dust pickup and a Cravo Curve with only 17% dust pickup delivered absolutely disastrous results. Once again, this is a reminder that you shouldn't put much stock in marketing claims like Pascal Values. Let's see how the robot performs compared to the competition.
As we've seen, the Saros 10R's carpet cleaning performance is mediocre at best. In the case of the Red Dense carpet, it's truly poor, especially compared to machines from Dyson, AEG, or even an iRobot Roombus 9. Even older in-house robots like a Roborock S7 perform significantly better, or at the same level. Last but not least, we come to the hard floor test. Here, too, I use special certified test dust that simulates typical hard floor and grout dust. An amount of 0.45 gram of test dust is applied, and the robots are allowed to clean the area eight times at the maximum suction level. After these eight cleaning passes, the surface is checked with a microfiber cloth. For robots with a mopping function, if the surface is not clean, a double cleaning is performed in mopping mode only. A medium water setting is used if possible. Since the Saros 10R has an internal water tank, the medium water setting was used with standard overlapping. After a drying phase of 10 minutes, the surface is checked again, and the grout lines are also checked. This performance is not great, but is pretty much the same what you get from, for example, an iRobot Roomba Plus 505 combo, or the Dream X40 and X50, both vacuuming and mopping. These machines do nothing regarding fine dust and gaps. There are robots out there vacuuming this up with no problem, even with passes numbers way below eight. Even some more or less crappy vacuum sticks perform better at the lowest setting. More about this in more detail in a future video. Time for a conclusion. It depends on your expectations of such a device. Whether it should actually clean or just give the impression that it does, because you clean once a week anyway. If the former is true, then based on my tests, the Saros 10R is a rather poorly cleaning, overpriced device that you should stay away from. If the latter is true, you can certainly get it if you're looking for a very slim device with good navigation, but one that could still be improved based on the firmware version of my navigation recordings. However, you should also keep in mind that there are much cheaper devices that offer at least the same level of cleaning. That's all. Thanks for watching. If it was helpful, please like, please subscribe, or even support me with a Ko-fi or membership. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.